most salespeople don't follow up. And I'm not talking about the following up, like asking your customer or your prospect, so how's the proposal? No, I'm not talking about asking about the status of your proposals. That's your active sales process. I'm talking about way after all that. You know, maybe a customer has already bought. You know, how do you keep in touch with them? Now, if they buy now, they may not buy again in the next six months, one year, three years. How do you keep in touch with them? If you're selling houses, they may not buy another house for 10 years. How do you keep in touch? Or maybe the client didn't buy at all. I mean, maybe something went wrong in the sales process. Maybe they found a competing product that meets their needs more. And they don't buy from you today. How do you keep in touch with them? How do you follow up with them? I mean, it's not like you can pick up the phone and call them, you know, every month or every few months and say, Hi, how are you? You know, how's family? How's things? How's business? It's, it's a very awkward conversation. And, and, and that's a trouble that a lot of salespeople have. And let's just talk about Joe Gerard. If you're a, uh, you know, a serious salesperson, you would know who Joe Gerard is. If you don't, Google him up. Joe Gerard is one of the best car salesmen the world has ever known. In fact, he is the best car salesman the world has ever known. And what he does to follow up with people, to keep in touch with people, is to write personal cards and letters to everyone once a month. I mean, that's amazing, isn't it? Once a month. And he averages selling, he selling averages six cars a day. A day. Not a week, not a month, a day. I remember walking into this Mazda showroom uh, sometime last year, and I, I, I remember this, this one salesman, you know, he was sighing, groaning, and he's saying, oh, I haven't sold anything the past three months. And man, I mean, the guy looks like crap. Oof. And three months, that's 90 days. And let's see, if, Joe Gira- if that was Joe Gerard, 90 days would be six cars a day, 540 cars. That's how many cars he sells. And he sells so much because he makes it a habit to follow up and keep in touch with people. People feel that he has become a friend to them, like someone who's a constant in their lives. And as salespeople, you want this for your prospects, for your customers. So how do you do this? That's the question, golden question. Well, the easiest way to do it is, no, now, right now, you don't have to write personal handwritten cards or letters anymore. It's a bit slow. Nowadays, you have tools like email. You know, email is not a new thing. But yet, I, I, I find it very strange that so few people send out, uh, send out emails. And I'm not talking about spam, by the way. Okay, don't spam people. Don't keep sending people offers, 20% discount this month. Next month, you send a 30% discount. The month after that, 20% discount. Look, people, that, that's not giving them any value, really. I mean, something better than a discount, please. You know, so don't spam people. Send emails to people who want your emails. And uh, one of the, the, the software that I use for this is uh, it, well, it's an online server. It's called MailChimp. MailChimp.com. So it's like mail, no, monkey. No. Ooh, uh. So MailChimp, M-A-I-L-C-H-I-M-P.com. Go visit them. I think they allow you a, um, uh, to upload like 2,000 contacts into, into it for free and to send out emails for free. So... Use something like MailChimp because their Outlook program won't won't work. So don't keep sending them offers if you're using their MailChimp. Um, send them something more. Send them articles of value. Look, if people are thinking of buying for, uh, from you in the future, it's because they have a problem, a challenge, or they're interested in something. And so because they have a problem, a challenge, and they're interested in something, you have a lot of articles that you can write, articles of interest. And if you're selling something that you're passionate and interested about, there's always something to write about. 
So write, write like crazy. Doesn't matter if you're good at writing at all. Uh, you might benefit someone. Um, and you, you know, there's always something to write if you're passionate about something. There's always something to write if you're a master of the product you sell or the industry you're in. You know, if you're selling law services, if you're passionate about law, there's a lot of things to write about. If you're you know, passionate about um, shipping, oh, there's a lot of things to write about shipping, especially if you're sending it to purchasing managers or logistics managers, lots of things. Okay, but you do need to be passionate and you do need to be interested in your, in your uh, product or industry. Another way you could use uh, besides email is something called Facebook. That's right, Facebook. Almost everyone's on Facebook nowadays, except, well, okay, well, in Malaysia, there's a lot of young salespeople, there's a lot of um, middle aged, slightly older salespeople, and I'm so surprised to find that so many people, so many salespeople, don't use social media at all. Oh, yeah, they don't use Facebook. That's right. I'm confused. I don't know why. And, you know, Facebook is fantastic because it allows me to connect to thousands of prospects, of friends, of, of potential customers, of, of previous customers who has bought from me before. It allows me to connect to them. Example, you know, we get birthday updates, right? And the birthday pops up and you know, guess what I do? Oh, it's their birthday. I pick up the phone, I call them, and I sing them a song, Happy birthday to you, you know, and, and you know, they're, they're surprised. Sometimes they they um they go uh, after I sing the whole song they go, Who's this? <laughs> and guess what? Next birthday they never forget. Okay? Um send them a birthday message on Facebook. Um on Facebook you might get updates like we have a new baby. And wow, when people have a new baby, uh, perfect opportunity for you to, to, to touch base. You, know, you can say in his pictures that he posted up, Oh, she's so cute. Oh, it's a boy. Oh, well, he's so cute. Uh, you know, if they have gone for a holiday, you can ask him, How's your holiday? How's it been? Oh, I went there. Did you go to this place? Uh, just so many things to talk about. And, and that, that makes... Facebook is such an appealing platform for me because I get to keep in touch with thousands and thousands of people with hardly any effort at all. Without Facebook, honestly, well, you know, I don't get such updates. I'm pretty much in the dark. So, again, if you're a salespeople, if you're a salesperson and you're serious about your career, get a Facebook account, put everybody on there, and keep in touch with them. Uh, and because, and if you do this, Really, you know, there's, there's no need for hard follow-ups anymore. There's no need for to call people incessantly every few months. How are you? You know, making it uncomfortable. Um, no need to give people surprise visits anymore because, you know, it might be surprising, nice surprise to you, but it's not a nice surprise to them sometimes. And you know what? Nowadays, there's really no point in, in, in doing hard follow-ups. Because gentle reminders that you are alive and that you're there for them just in case you need them is good enough. Because when you think about buying, the first person that they think about is someone that has kept in touch with them throughout the years. And that's you. <laughs>